सो हेलो गाइज माई नेम इज अश्विन रावत एंड यू आर वॉचिंग माई यूट्यूब चैनल अश्विन टेक माइंड एंड टे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू अबाउट लाइब्रेरी मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम विच इज़ माई प्रोजेक्ट ऑफ माई फिफ्थ सेम फाइनल ईयर सो नाउ एज यू कैन सी दिस इज और द फर्स्ट फ्रेम ऑफ लाइब्रेरी मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम विच हैज टू ऑप्शन द फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इज अबाउट एडमिन लॉग इन एंड द सेकेंड ऑप्शन इज अबाउट लाइब्रेरियन लॉग इन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू गो टू एडमिन लॉग इन एंड एंटर यर द क्रेडेंशियल्स विच इज अश्विन रावत एंड पासवर्ड इज वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट बट आई एम नॉट श्योर अबाउट दिस सो आई हैव क्लिक ऑन लॉग इन एंड इट इज शोइंग दैट इन करेक्ट क्रेडेंशियल्स बिकॉज द क्रेडेंशियल दैट आई एंटर इज नॉट इन करेक्ट सो वी हैव टू चेक वंस अगेन टू एसकिल सर मैनेजमेंट स्टूडियो so let i am opening my sql server management studio one thing that i want to tell you that the password and the username that we enter are wrong at current time so i am not sure that username is ashwin rawat or the password is 12345678 so password might be incorrect or username might be incorrect so wait for some time uh, till then i am showing you librarian login so this is our librarian login frame so i am going to librarian login the name of the user is amit singh which is the only librarian in our database now i am entering his password and the password of amit is 1234 now click on login button so as i clicked on login button the librarian section is appearing in the front of me now it has some options like add books view books issue books written books and view issued books okay uh, let me show you how many books are available in my database so i am going to my view book section so click on view books so these are some books uh, as you can see this is the table so suppose there is a book uh, i am closing my sql server no need to connect now because i am showing you how library uh, how librarian section works so this is the table and this is the view book section so in the view book section uh, these are the books uh, so for an example just take the networking book and the quantity of networking book is 86 and the 86 books are available and zero books are issued okay now go to back section and click on uh, issue book now suppose i want to uh, issue the networking uh, networking book so we have to select the serial number and the book name of that networking which is let's lpk sorry the name of the serial uh, sorry the serial number and the book name should be same so the serial number is lpk 4523 of the networking book now the student that is issuing this book is uh, sahil aswal okay and sorry because i put name in the id section so the id is 1003 and the name of the student is sahil aswal and his contact number is 8152365230 okay so this is the uh, this is his number and here i am selecting the date so the date of issue is january 6 uh, 2021 or you can say 13 january 2021 now i have clicked on issue button and the book is issued successfully now click on okay and go back and now see the view books and as i click on view books the table is appearing in front of me and now as you can see the 86 uh, is the quantity of my networking books and now only 85s are available and one book is issued by sahil aswal i know this is not showing that uh, who issued the book for this purpose we have to go to back button and now click on view issued books and now click on book name uh, sorry now as you can uh, see view issued books so there is a student name sailaswal which issued the book of networking serial number lpk4523 so sailaswal is the only student who issued the book okay so now click on back button and click on return book 
so as i click on return book to here we have to select the student id and student name so the student name is sahil aswal just i am confirming that ki how many books are issued so book name is networking student name is sahil aswal and student id is 1003 so click on return book and now in the student id section we have to write his id which is 1003 and the name of the student is sahil aswal okay so now i am clicking on return button so as i clicked on return button the book returns successfully it is showing me that so click on okay and go back and now see view issued books now as you can see the view issued books table so there is no name of uh, any student okay so the name of silas wall is deleted from this table and now we go to view books section and now as you can see the networking books uh, which is here uh, uh, which is issued by one Uh, student which is sail as well now the uh, the quantity of networking books is 86 and the now all 86 books are available because the one issued uh, books uh, is also uh, given to the library okay so now go to back section and uh, go to add books in the add book section we can add the books so suppose we have to add a book uh, which serial number is uh, mno uh 9872 and the name of the book is magic learn okay so the name of the book is magic learn and the publisher of this uh, book is dynamo and the quantity of this book is 56 okay so now i am clicking on add book section now it is showing me that do you want to add this book in the database so i have clicked on yes so it is showing me now book inserted successfully okay so click on okay button and go to back and now i am clicking on view book section which is showing me that uh, magic learn book is added in the library the quantity of magic book learn is uh, 56 and the, all the 56 books are available right now okay so and one more thing that i want to tell you about uh, that user can not change the contents of this table so i have to remember this or mai is galti ko sudhar bhi lunga to filhal hum back button pe jate hain aur yahan se isko log out kar lete hain okay so i have clicked on log out now go to the admin section click on admin login and now see the password from your sql server so i am connecting with my database engine now it is taking some time to open the my database now i have clicked on my databases so the name of the database is libmansys yeah i remember that the password is 4578457 if i am not wrong okay so i am entering here my name which is aswin rawat and entering here the password which is 4578 and now i am clicking on login and it is showing me incorrect credentials so the password is also incorrect now and username is also incorrect now i think so i am going to sql server management studio go to libmansys this is my database and these are the tables in my databases which is admin info so Let's select everything from uh, select top thousand rows from the admin info table. So I have clicked on admin info table. Wait for some time. So here the admin name is Aswin Rawat, which is of capital letters. and the password is 12345678 okay so the name is incorrect here because all the letters are should be in the capital case so i am opening my caps lock and aswin rawat is the name and the password is 12345678 so 12345678 now click on login and as you can see the admin section is open now and the admin has four options which is add librarian view librarian delete librarian and log out so now i want to view the librarian so i am clicking on view librarian so 
in the current state we have only one librarian which is amit singh whose password is 1234 gender is male id is pratap amit 23@gmail.com and the contact is 7534080323 so now i am clicking on back and adding a librarian which is uh sarthak nalwal okay just uh, right here sarthak oh sorry this is id section so we have to write here id so the id is one two three five username is sarthak password is seven eight seven eight click on mail write his email id such as anything you want and write here the contact number of him which is of 10 digit okay now click on add button to add this librarian which is sarthak in our database so click on add so sarthak should be added in our database so now go to view librarians and it is showing me only one librarian is here so go back again add the librarian by adding his information which is uh, 104 username is sarthak password is 5656 he is male and his name is anything gmail.com and contact is uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay now click on add button so as i click on add button the librarian is inserted successfully in our database so click on ok button and now go to back button now i want to view the librarian so there are two librarians now uh, first is amit singh and the second is sarthak whose password is 5656 who is male his email id and his content okay now go to back button and now i want to delete the librarian so because i want to view, uh, delete the librarian so his id is needed so id of the sarthak is 104 so click on back button and go to delete librarian and right here is id which is 104 now as you can see i have entered his id and as i click on delete button the it is showing me that librarian 104 deleted successfully so click on ok button now go to back button and again go to the view librarian section and now as you can see here is only one record remaining which is amit singh 1234 i can also delete amit singh from the librarian table but i am not doing this right now now go to back button go to logout button or main aapko bata diya ki librarian section kaise work karta hai admin section kaise work karta hai so i hope you like the video so if you like the video kindly subscribe to my channel if any query please ask me in the comment sections so without wasting any time let's goodbye